Okay, so in uh, there's a function called contour. Contour, and then select object for contours. I select the geometry, and enter. It asks you contour plane base point, which is the where is the lowest point. So I simply type. Uh, I will just simply select anywhere the lowest point. That's it. And 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 direction perpendicular to contour planes. Make sure that I'm going to use right or front view and then direct upside using shift button. So this one uh, vertical to the sky. And then you'll ask about distance between contours. Our unit is inches. And what is the inches? We can go high, the maximum inches, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Voila. So now let's see that we create curves. Now I kind of I delete our geometry. So this is our contour curves. Yes, unfortunately, what do you have to do? <laughs> you have to move manually. <laughs> so I'll use move. So okay, you move out. <laughs> And then you, this one is like basically curve, so you can uh, export this one as export. So after you, you know, relocating everything in the plane, what is the maximum size laser cutter can use? Uh, 36, 24? Yes. 18 by 32. 18, 32 by 18? Yeah, 18 by 32. Okay, so uh, 32 by 18. So you locate this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sorry for this, but you have to do this one this week. But after, when we once you start use grasshopper, this process could be uh, can be automated. So don't worry, just this week only. And happy job for <laughs> laser cutter. <Yeah. laughs> so um, okay, this was too much. Okay, so for laser cutter this week. Each team can build only one model. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, this is a little bit too much work, right? So, two person print one. Is it it's fair? And CNC two. <laughs> so, for this slicing project, yes. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit too much. So, uh, is it really? Is it really much? I I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know how to laser cut. 